All right, check this out. Back in the Siamese scene, there was King Rama II, a ruler who ditched the whole king vibe for a poetic one. Picture this royal dude scribbling love poems not in some fancy chamber, but right on the back of an elephant during a parade. His crew didn't know whether to bow or give him a standing ovation. In a world usually full of wars and royal seriousness, King Rama II turned the court into a lovey-dovey scene straight out of a romance novel. The guy was like the Shakespeare of Siam, but instead of a quill, he wielded a pen and spilled emotions all over the place. So, while other kings were flexing power, Rama II was flexing feelings. His poetic game was so strong that he became the heartthrob king of the 19th century. Imagine a king making people swoon. Now that's a plot twist. Moral of the story. If you ever feel like expressing yourself, just remember, you might have a 19th century Siamese king as your emo inspiration.